Well, hello, hello, hello. This is the final flip through of my Abandoning Perfection journal. I'm really happy. These are my funky little um, uh, journal jewelry jo uh, that was something different. I did make a pocket, but I'm not using that pocket so much. I had thought I would put my prompts in it, but then one of the prompts was to make a pocket to put it in, so I did later. And I am just sort of going to flip through this journal, let you see all the different pages as close as I can get. Can't get any closer, sorry, but that, that is kind of a big book. Um, I really, really had fun with this. That's one of my favorite pages, number four. Um, the the prompts were all over the place as far as what we were doing and some of them were kind of art oriented and some of them weren't so uh they were they were a lot of fun um if you don't remember this uh journal was made with magazine pages so and they were single sheets they were not uh glued together or anything like that uh, I've been very surprised at how well it held up. Uh, now, a lot of times I did work directly on the page. Um, then there were other times, like that page uh, number 10, where I worked on a sheet of scrapbook paper and then added it to the page. It all kind of depended on what I was doing. Um, there are a few pages I wasn't as excited about, uh, but even these two that I didn't like for a long time ended up okay. Um, I did, in doing all the prompts, filled up all my pages. Uh, even if it was something simple like um, that number page 14 where I was adding another half of a page to that page, but all the pages actually had something done to them. In the end, some of the prompts I had to actually look for pages to um, to finish up on. I did add beads to pages. Um, sometimes if the image just struck me, I was happy to have just added the lace to the page like that one. Um, the image made me perfectly content to leave that page just like it was after I'd added the lace. Oh, there's my paper doll. <clears throat> really liked how she came out. It's funny, I don't, I wouldn't ne normally consider glue booking the something that I really do that much, although I do a lot of collage. I don't usually cover a whole entire page, but both of the prompts in this was to cover the entire page, and I really had fun doing it. So I want to do some more things like that. Um, I really liked the, uh, the effect, the look of covering an entire page with letters or pictures.
Oh, I loved my garden. I thought it came out really nice. It was to paint the garden with um, a Q-tip and a toothpick, and I liked how it came out. Oh, um, yeah, I'm telling you, I'm supposed to link to um, the video where I made the uh, the ribbon flower. I, I didn't make it close enough when I was doing the original video, so I made an actual tutorial on making ribbon flowers. So I will put that link right there where I pointed. Those two images, I really liked them. I, I liked putting those on there like that, just tucked in. And that page was one I liked too, the dream page. And I added a whole bunch of pockets, but they've got nothing in them, so... But there's room to put stuff in them. That's the pocket where I'll be putting my prompt list and the pages of where all the prompts, you know, it, it tells you where, which page the prompt is on is what it does. So it's tucked right in there so that if there's a question about which prompt it was for, the, the page numbers are on the prompts. And that way I can see what it was I did. Because I'm sure in six months time, I'll have forgotten what the prompt was for that exact page. That's where I was supposed to tear a page and leave it torn. And some pages have several prompts on them. Some pages it's just like one prompt, but some pages have several prompts on them. So um, I know that that back page is, a, is an image that I just liked and their lace was on it and I added ribbon to it and that's all I did. So that, But that was still parts of two prompts. So... Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this clip. I hope you enjoyed the process, and I want you to go have fun and make some art. Bye-bye.